Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority, with Chris Boone. And welcome back, Texoma. As we are looking at sunny and hot conditions expected for the majority of the week ahead, we're back of a return to those triple digits for us with those afternoon highs climbing into the upper 90s and 100s. So definitely can't rule out the possibility of hitting that triple digit mark basically every day as we go throughout the week. So with those hotter temperatures, make sure you're kind of taking a moment, uh, drinking a little bit more water across the uh, day as you go especially into the afternoon hours, those hottest parts of the day. And that's where you definitely want to make sure you're drinking water. Sun already making its rise. A little bit of cloud coverage off towards the north as we've been looking out at our tower cam. Most of us looking at sunny skies across the area, but a few seeing those lingering clouds into the northern parts of Texoma. But again, uh, partly cloudy skies further north, mostly sunny skies for most of Texoma. Temperatures will quickly warm up into those mid-90s as you get closer towards the lunchtime hour and continuing to heat things up as you get into the afternoon hours, temperatures topping out into those upper 90s and 100s for us. Winds will be out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that will likely continue throughout the day as well. Won't see a drastic increase in those temperatures. Could see it jump into that 10 to 15 mile per hour range for the afternoon. Most of the cloud coverage staying well off towards the north up into the Texas Panhandle, parts of Oklahoma. But again, that has skirted into the northern parts of uh, Texoma. So could see some partly cloudy skies for uh, locations north of the Red River, areas like Altus and Lawton. Again, could see a few more of those clouds. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies expected as we go throughout the day. Temperatures starting off into those mid to upper 70s, 75 degrees. Popular number area in the, across the area here in Wichita Falls, 75. Warica, Henrietta also at 75. Alistair sitting at 75 degrees as well. And those winds still out of the south into that 5 to 10 mile per hour range. Could see them pick up a little bit into that 10 to 15 mile per hour range as you get into the late morning and early afternoon hours. But generally uh, staying out of the south and that's going to continue to bring that hot air across the area and keeping those temperatures into those upper 90s and low 100s for your afternoon highs. And well, that's good news if you're headed out to the pool. Sun and splash forecast with again, mostly sunny skies. Grab the sunblock though. Uh, UV index into that 10 uh, category. So it is going to be hot. And again, that sunburn, uh, don't let it sneak up on you. Make sure you're getting out there and reapplying several times, especially if you're someone like me. Uh, again, uh, quick burn, easily. Uh, make sure you're being extra careful with the pool and the sun. Temperatures into the upper 90s. Again, drinking plenty of water throughout the day into the triple digits as well for certain spots, especially if west uh, could be seeing the western parts of Texoma uh, reaching into the triple digits. Tonight, temperatures will drop back down into those upper upper 70s, 79 your overnight low, mostly clear skies. You could see a lingering cloud further towards the north, but uh, otherwise looking at sunny skies to start off the week. We really won't start to see a big increase in the cloud coverage until we go in towards the end of the week. For tomorrow, we do have heat advisories for parts of Texoma as heat advisory, uh, as heat index values could be pushing up to 105 to 110 degrees when you factor in the humidity. Again, we've still seen those humid conditions. We do points into the upper 60s, so tomorrow uh, feeling just a little bit hotter when you factor in that humidity. Again, look, looking at the high pressure and that heat dome off towards the west, that's going to keep temperatures uh, well above average through the majority of the week. That'll start to weaken, though, as we go in towards the end of the week and the weekend. That'll slide further back off towards the east. That'll give us a little bit of a break and chance for an isolated shower, too. Otherwise, triple digits expected for the majority of the week ahead. We'll look at some very slim to isolated rain chances for Saturday and Sunday.